Let's have a look at the television sweep tubes used as RF power amplifiers in the Helicrafters HT44 transmitter and the uh, SR150 transceiver. These are the 6DQ5 and the weaker brother, the 6DQ6 and the equivalent 12DQ6 tubes. The ratings for a 6DQ5 are 990 volts plate voltage and 1.1 amperes of peak cathode current. These cathodes are tremendous electron emitters. Comparing to a 6146, the tube obviously has far more peak power capacity. The plate dissipation is rated at 24 watts. Now this is in a television receiver, a commercial unit that would be sold to the public that would be on perhaps the entire day, 12 hours, in a less than ideal environmental condition. And the television set would be expected to work for years. So in intermittent commercial amateur service, this would translate to at least 33 to 35 watts, 50% more. So based on that rating, a pair of 6DQ5s could be running 200 watts DC input and an RF output of 130 watts if you're assuming 65% efficiency, class AB1, and that would uh, result in 70 watts dissipation for both tubes or 35 watts per tube. So this is not a problem. It would certainly run for single sideband use and CW, and I contend this will even be acceptable for a half hour key down conditions under radio teletype use, RTTY. In fact, the Drake T4XB transmitter shows how to modify the radio for a frequency shift keying in the VFO, and the tune-up procedure is identified as being the same as CW. There's no mention of reducing power input, and people do operate Drake T4XBs at full power radio teletype, and they use 6JB6s, which are only rated at 17 and a half watts plate dissipation in television use and a less peak cathode current of only 550 milliamps so the 6DQ5 is a far huskier tube and it's cheap nine dollars on eBay there's lots of them available more so than the other sweep tubes that were used by Swan and uh, the other transmitter manufacturers so Halicrafters was very smart with their choice of tubes so these are better than 6146's don't let the use of television sweep tubes fool you. These transmitters are rugged, and I'm going to prove it with the uh, Halicrafters HT44 uh, when I get it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to run radio teletype, full power. I have a small fan that I will just uh, put on top of the cabinet to draw out hot air. But uh, it really isn't necessary, but it will increase the tube life, obviously but the transmitter was designed for continuous use under uh, amateur radio teletype uh, uh, conditions which is about half an hour or so so yeah I'm very impressed with the 6DQ5 thank you for watching